the ultimate portobello Swiss burger. Here's what you need and the steps to make it happen. We'll grab some baby Swiss from the deli, some tasty buns, some certified Angus beef, and some whole portobellas. That's it for the shopping. The rest you probably already have in the kitchen. Let's get it going. First, we'll take the stems off the mushroom caps and make sure they're pretty clean. We're getting them ready for time on the grill, so we'll start with a little olive oil. Just brush it on. You'll see they absorb quite a bit of oil. This will help us get a good sear. Some salt and pepper for seasoning, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. I've got the grill rocking on medium high, so let's get those mushrooms started. While those sear, we'll make our sauce. Couldn't be much easier. A little mayo and some hot sauce. That's it. Mix it up and we'll set it aside. You're gonna love how this punched up mayo tastes with the mushrooms and the ground beef flavors. Go ahead and flip your mushrooms to get a good sear on the other side. With our mushrooms nicely grilled, I'll put them to the board. I'll cut them up and set them aside for later. I just cut them in half and then turn it the other direction and you get about quarter inch slices. All right, let's set those aside and we'll get to the star of the show. Two pounds of certified Angus beef ground chuck. This is my go-to for incredible burgers because if it's not certified, it's not the best. Portion out one third pound patties and hand form them. We're looking to avoid large cracks on the edges, so work them around your hands and get a nice even patty. We're gonna season with some nice sea salt and fresh cracked pepper. Now I don't always add a cooking spray, but I feel like my grates aren't that well seasoned, and so I wanna make sure these burgers don't stick. With the heat still at medium high, let's get these burgers on. We wanna get a good sear here. I also wanna close the lid to take advantage of the convection heat. These are pretty thick patties, so we wanna create an oven-like environment to help cook all the way through without burning the outside at the same time. A couple minutes in and the shoulders of the raw patties have relaxed. Some beads of moisture are coming up through and we've got a good sear on the one side. They should lift easily from the grate. Flip to grill the other sides and make room to grill our buns. Don't miss this opportunity for a little crispy grill toasting opportunity on those buns. Now that our buns have had time to toast, we'll get them off so we can focus on our burgers. With our burgers about done, and right now they're about 145 to 150 internal, we're gonna top with that Swiss, turn off the grill, and close things up to melt the cheese and finish cooking the patties. We'll get our buns ready with some special hot sauce and mayo on the bottom. Here's where you'd put some lettuce down if that's your thing. Not feeling that today, so I'm gonna go right to the mushrooms before getting our Swiss burger off the grill. A quick final temp check and we're ready to go. I love how the cheese just hugs each patty. The hot patty and these shrooms smell incredible. Is your mouth watering yet? Mm, see that? And that. Finally, a mushroom Swiss burger to be proud of. Boom, this is good. 